we're treating opiate addiction with opiates. That doesn't make sense to me. So the theory is, and this is how it was positioned when it was first introduced. The federal government spent $62.5 million to create the baseline formulation for buprenorphine. That's its generic name. And it is what's called an opioid agonist, an opioid paired with an antagonist, naltrexone, in one pill. You give this to an individual, whether it is a, a film or a pill, and sometimes it's an injection. And what it is supposed to do is satiate that desire for the opioid that has been hardwired into the brain while simultaneously creating a blocker effect so that if the person wants a high and they take a bunch of pills that are in addition to the suboxone, the blocker thwarts their effect and basically keeps the person from getting high while simultaneously being satiated because of that low level, lower level dose of opioids. This was presented initially as the method by which you could bridge someone into complete and total abstinence. And the thought was you give them Suboxone and you bring them down on their dosages until such time as they can be completely without and you have a fully restored abstinent individual. Well, as time has gone on, those therapeutic goalposts have been substantially moved on down the field. This is a lifetime medication for this person. This is their new life. You have brought them from the depths of destructive addiction. You have given them a lower level dose of opioid compared with a blocker that will prevent them from engaging in illicit consumption that produces a high, while simultaneously allowing them to restore a level of functionality that can give them a chance to have a normal life. And in theory, that's all well and good. But what we know from research literature is that suboxone programs have about a 25% success rate, and that's as measured by patient retention. Uh, there was a study published in December of 22, which uh, verified that 80% of suboxone patients stop attending treatment within six months of initiation. While suboxone may thwart the onset of withdrawal, it does not satiate the desire that that individual has for all of those uh, experiences that they have while they're high. 